Hi, my name's Catherine from Albion Meat Products Limited. I've been in this business now for nearly 30 years. There are a number of reasons why people would want to change from a biscuit diet to a raw diet. Um, usually it's because they've got an allergy or the owners have decided that um, to try a raw diet because they've heard of all the benefits of feeding a raw diet. The main benefits are healthy skin and coats. The dogs utilise all the food better because with a raw diet they're having no fillers or preservatives, it's just pure meat with vegetables. You get less stools from the dog and also they don't tend to put on so much weight. You can either change from a kibble to a raw diet gradually and just stopped and done it overnight. Um, usually um, most people, in fairness, do do it on a gradual basis. Dogs that usually are fed on a kibble then go on to a raw diet. Most of the time you don't have any reactions tummy-wise, but sometimes you will find that their coats go a little bit dry because all the toxins that are in the dry, the dry kibble foods take a little while to work out of their, their systems. So sometimes they do tend to look a little bit worse than better but persevere, the coats do become a lot glossier and they do get more of a shine onto their coats. Usually you can tell within two weeks, but sometimes it can take up to a month before you'll see a real benefit of feeding the raw diet. Some dogs don't adjust too well to begin with texture-wise. If they've been used to a dry kibble and they go to a meat, they find it a little bit strange, but do persevere because they will, they will get onto it. And in fact, my own dog doesn't took a little while to get used to chicken carcass. At first, she didn't know what to do with the carcass, but I just kept giving it to her and now she absolutely devours them. Sometimes dogs um, don't like particular types of meat, but you do persevere, try different types. My own dog doesn't like the chicken mince, but she loves the chicken necks and now carcass. So you've just got to try different types of products and see which ones your dogs prefer. Obviously it is better to give them a mixture of meat sources and then they benefit from all the different vitamins and minerals in the different types of meat. Chicken carcass, chicken necks and chicken wings obviously are very important because for the ground up bone. The best rule of thumb that we always recommend if you are new to a raw diet, if you feed 120 to 225 grams per 10 kilo of body weight per day. Some dogs need a little bit more if they're more active than others. And it's like you or I, sometimes some people eat a little bit more than others. Vegetables and fruits are very important for the raw diet. We also do mince meats with veg in them for some people that are finding it a little bit more difficult to pulp the vegetables. We find this a bit more convenient for our customers. You can also buy supplements. The idea of feeding vegetables, you have to pulp them because dogs find it hard to digest whole vegetables. If you do find it a little bit difficult pulping vegetables, what you can do is uh, slightly blanch them. This, especially with things like carrots, this breaks the cellulose down in it, so it makes it a little bit easier for the dogs to digest. That's what I do when we're having vegetables. I just steam them. Obviously, you don't put salt in with your own vegetables and then just break them down that way. People tend to get a bit obsessed with this word complete. They're worried about they're not going to be able to give their dogs everything each meal. Well, in actual fact, we don't have a balanced diet every time we sit down and eat a meal. We get different things from different meals over a uh, period of time. Um, and I think that's really important to, to, to emphasize because um, your dog isn't going to become, in, you know, come to any harm if it doesn't have certain vitamins on each meal, it, they, they get them over a period of time. When you're changing over to a raw diet, obviously it's new to you and it's new to the dog, so you've just got to persevere with it. Don't give up at the first hurdle. Some people don't get into a good routine about getting the meat out. So just when you've fed, get the next packet out ready to thaw 
I just keep ours in an ice cream container and that way as soon as I've got one out I put another packet in so you've always got, got it in hand then. Dogs do need bones to chew on and if they can't have ch bones to have chunky meat which we also provide these are chunks of beef tripe so that that gives the dog something to chew on chewing is particularly good it helps clean their teeth and also if you've got a dog that's a little bit anxious chewing is a good way of relieving stress mm -hmm.